hello guys good morning welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i am just heading out this afternoon slash morning what bag am i gonna take i think i'll take my little chanel and i don't feel like i need a coat although i am literally just in like jumper leggings i feel like i need something maybe not I'm literally just going in the shops. So, hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. This morning I am going to Home Sense. I th just have the bug, you know? You know when you've got that feeling to just go and explore Home Sense, especially with all their kind of Easter spring decor route. Might even get some like Valentine's bargain sale finds now that that's gone. Um, homeware bits, like photo frames, that kind of thing I'm looking for. So yeah, I have the bug to go so i'm gonna go hopefully we get lucky hopefully we grab some bargains which i'll be able to haul for you later and i have also got a parcel that arrived from fall and more decor which is like a, a smaller independent business that i have mentioned before they very kindly sent me a package i have no idea what's in it but i did open it and everything's individually wrapped so it literally is like an Easter Christmas box, basically. So I will open that with you guys later. I'm really excited to see some goodies that are in there. Um, but first things first, let's head over to HomeSense, TK Maxx, see what they've got in. I do want to go via, let me just check on the app and make sure it wasn't just a Valentine's thing, but I saw that McDonald's have, um, introduced a raspberry and white chocolate pie you know the apple pie and a lot of you guys love the fact that i did a bit of a review of the galaxy one when they brought that out at christmas they've still got it raspberry and white chocolate pie i feel like i love the apple pies that they do the galaxy one was okay but i feel like the raspberry and white chocolate one i feel like i'm going to enjoy that so I might just grab a bite to eat on a route from there. Maybe even, I want to grab a coffee, but I hate the fact that they don't do decaf. So, where are we going? Which home sense am I going to go to? I could go to my favourite home sense, which is the Hamforth Dean. I think I'm going to go to that one. We will see where we end up. But first things first, make sure you are set with some snacks and a drink. And get comfy. This is your time to unwind. Chill out with me. Let's go shopping. And I'll see you guys when we get there. Hi, sorry, I'm just waiting for the... Uh, the pickup code? Yes, JD34. 34. I've got it, thank you, next window. Thank you. Oh. Please. Sometimes not like the chip and pin picks on you, it's like that. Oh, right, okay. Well then, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, let's find a little parking spot. I did end up getting changed before I left the house, so I was just a bit too warm in that jumper. So I just took it off, got a t shirt on underneath, thrown on my favourite jacket that i've been loving at the minute someone's watching me vlog and this is very awkward and someone's parked right next to me one second i don't know why i get so like shy to vlog when there's people about i just feel like i think it stems down to the judgment of what people think that's ultimately where it comes from but i'm never going to see these people again if i do it's crossing paths with strangers that you don't realize you've crossed paths with so just need to you know let it go anyway i've actually bought two things that i've never tried before firstly the raspberry and white chocolate pie i mean if you're a white chocolate lover like me i'm thinking i'm gonna love it and then i also picked up a wrap like i never go i don't think i've ever gone to i don't think i've ever gone to mcdonald's and had a wrap even like a breakfast wrap never so i just felt like something a bit like the healthier version <laughs> i know i've got raspberry and white chocolate pie sat in there but i felt like something fresher than just burger and chips which is rare for me if i feel like that then i'm just gonna run with it because otherwise i'm getting burger and chips um but yeah gone for a crispy chicken and bacon wrap i think it is 
So we'll give it a go. Mmm. Really good. I probably wouldn't have bought this, uh, but Tom came home from cricket training last night with the McDonald's bag, and I was like, oh, he never has McDonald's. And he said, I needed something before cricket, so I just had a, a chicken wrap. And I thought, oh, what a good idea. I did have to get the crispy version, though, which probably the unhealthy alternative, but... It's good. I still haven't got a coffee yet, though, because I thought, no, I'll save myself for getting a decaf, maybe, at Costa or Starbucks or something. But we'll maybe have that for fuel as we're walking around the shop. But wow, there are so many people walking around here. But I'm letting it go. Um, okay, raspberry and white chocolate pie. Caution hot, it says. So it looks like, oh, dropping it in the car. Looks like an apple pie, but obviously red in colour. I'm assuming this isn't just a Valentine's special now that I've got it after Valentine's, but. Mm. I probably wouldn't ever buy the Galaxy one again love the apple one this hold on i need another bite oh it's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> ocean hot it says you can get the raspberry it's quite fruity wow that is so good i don't know which one i prefer i think i would prefer apple just purely because that's what i'm expecting that's what i'm used to plus to be fair i do love apple desserts they're probably my favorite apple crumble double cream or apple crumble with ice cream apple pie apple tart apple crumble is my favorite though so home sense here we go first things first in this home sense they had so many lamps on entry some gorgeous like stone based ones i spotted some dupes for the likes of what you would see in the white company the um like wooden based ones zara home style ones so yeah a great selection if you're after some lamps then i headed straight to the easter section where my eyes were peeled for all the neutral home decor as always loads of different bright colors pastel colors but i am just drawn to the neutrals always have been and always will be so don't hate me for that okay um but yeah they did have a, quite a big selection for anyone else out there like me who is a fan of the neutrals i also saw this cabinet how gorgeous is that something you'd expect to see in like an antiques dealership or something really rustic loved that um, and then I also had a quick look at the kind of kitchenware baking section. And again, they had all the Easter decor filtered out to here as well. It wasn't just sort of all within one area. It was dotted throughout the whole store, which I quite liked actually. As always, a quick look at the books section and the stationery. I saw this dog wash as well. How nice would that look on top of Barney's dog wash station? I love that. So we're halfway through. I've been into Home Sense, got very lucky. I am just going to pop into TK Maxx because I feel like whilst well, I'm here, I might as well. And you never know, TK Maxx have the odd, um, like, good clothes bargain, clothes bargain, <laughs> clothing bargain, of which this TK Maxx tend to have a bit of gold label as well, whereby you get, um, I've seen Gucci, Chloe, this is hand 14 one, by the way. I just feel like I need a bit of a rant. <laughs> I feel like for the most part I'm a very empathetic person. I always play devil's advocate. I'm very understanding. I always try and like see myself in someone else's shoes and think, right, well let me flip this and if I was you, like how would that make me feel and blah blah blah. Anyway, but when I was driving over here, the one thing <laughs> one thing that I will not justify or understand what goes through someone's mind when they're doing this is exactly what happened to me the person in front of me driving just literally windows down just throwing the rubbish out the car not just like one little thing either like about three handfuls of rubbish obviously like had their lunch or something it was like packets and whatever but I just thought <sighs> I pulled up to them next to the traffic lights and they still had the windows down and it was a couple and I just wanted to put my window down and say, are you going to go pick that up? But I thought, no. But I just don't understand why you would do that. Like, literally handfuls of rubbish. Anyway, <laughs> that's my rant over. Let's head on into TK Maxx. Might grab a coffee then and then head back home and show you the goodies. 
since I found so many good goodies in here right now. It's just the time to shop. Autumn and spring and Easter and Christmas. I just love HomeSense. If you're a HomeSense lover, I just think you get it. You just get it. So as soon as you head into this store, you're hit with the gold label section. They had Chelsea Piers. Who knew? I know Chelsea Piers are well known for their like pajama sets, really great quality. They also had loads of Bottega bags, sunglasses, Gucci scarves, again, San Laurent glasses. So many amazing designer purchases to be had within this store. Also a great selection within the beauty section like Olaplex, the Flatlay Company, some gorgeous wax jackets, Chloe boots, Stuart Wiseman boots. Honestly, such a good selection in this store. Well worth checking out if you're local to the kind of Wilmslow area. And yeah, had a quick look upstairs at the homeware bits that they had, the obligatory candle sniffing section. As always, just one of my favorite things to do is to pop into Home Sense, sniff all the candles, sometimes make a purchase, one or two, who knows. I've not seen many like designer or high-end candles in there in a while, but I did love the look of this one. The actual pot itself I thought was gorgeous. Definitely one that would look lovely on display. And then they did have some kind of spring scented candles and also some pillar church candles like these, which were decorated with like dried flowers. So I thought they were beautiful. Also great jewelry selection with PD Paula, Missima. Anyway, finally time for my coffee. Oh no, little decaf cortado, but I've just got it on my jacket. Don't know if you can see. Anyway, let's get back home and let's show you all of the purchases that I made. Quite a few. No fashiony bits, just home bits. So yeah, let's get home. I'm also really excited to get into my fallen fallen more home decor little goodie box as well. If you like strong coffee and have never had a cortado before, try it. Delish. Hello puppy. Hey! Do you like something to carry? There's a parcel here. Hello. I am back home, had a little mishap with the coffee and spilt it yet again in one of the bags, but luckily I managed to save the things that were in it, thankfully. Anyway, I also came home to a very exciting delivery. Well, it's exciting for me. I know what this is. It won't be exciting to the majority of you, but any other aspiring vloggers out there, any other YouTubers, content creators, I feel like you'll appreciate this excitement for this purchase so i'm actually vlogging tomorrow i'm going to uh lunch in manchester with some girls who are also in this industry so i'm sure we will be taking a few pics of the dinner and each other or whatever so i thought i would test it out tomorrow and vlog tomorrow so that'll be my next vlog and we'll try this out but it's the new DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Combo because I couldn't buy just the individual one. It seemed to be out of stock. You had to get the Creator Combo. But it just means that you get like a tripod with it. Yeah, mini tripod it comes with. It comes with a little like windscreen mic, wide angle lens, a couple of other bits as well. Um, but yeah, I'm like really excited to try it. It's like basically for, for me who, like someone who creates content, creates video content, feel like it's going to be really really handy especially not so much for like this sort of situation where I'm sat down filming a whole segment within a vlog but more so out and about getting vlog footage um I think it will come in really handy and also you can flip it vertically and I can maybe get some more Instagram content on there as well so yeah I'm really excited to give that a little test run tomorrow so stay tuned for my next vlog to see how the footage turns out if it's a success or not the package that i was telling you about from fall and more if i just take off the outer layer of wrapping you can see why i decided to save this unboxing <laughs> on camera for you guys too if you want to use the code freer 10 you will get 10 percent off have an amazing easter love katie and charlotte at fall and more thank you so much girls honestly you absolutely spoil me so some of their new bits in stores. Let's have a look and see what they've got. So first things first, 
the neutral aesthetic in me is very happy about this. It's a pack of ginormous, actually, pretty big. Usually these sort of eggs that you can see or find in shops are quite small. So it's nice for a bit of variety. These would look really nice in like a wooden bowl displayed. They're just little speckled eggs and they have got hanging jutes on if you wanted to pop them like sort of on in a vase if you've got some stems that you wanted to hang them from. But they are quite chunky, so I would say, for me, I'd probably style them like in a bowl. Oh, they packaged it so beautifully. Oh, I see a little boucle ears. I feel like this might be a bunny. Oh, my honey's like, I can't do that voice without Barney thinking it's something for him. It's a cute little boucle bunny with a little bunny tail on with a little Happy Easter wooden charm there. Oh, it's just so cute. Why is like home decor just my favorite thing in the entire world? Oh, guys, how cute is this ceramic little bunny? Oh, I love him. Let's face it, I love a white bunny. But this looks more like something you would find at like Zara Home or something with a bit of a rustic edge to it. Gorgeous colour, love that. I see bunny ears. Okay, so I need to take the tape off properly, but you get the idea. It's a cute little, oh look, a little bunny ear goes to the right as well. A little ceramic pot. And again, it's got that kind of rustic sort of colouring to it. It's that kind of like speckled off-white colour. So cute. Yet again, I see bunny ears. This would be perfect on the kitchen island as our little, we've got like a salt pot on there at the minute, which Tom literally uses every single day when he's cooking. Well, as do I, but we all know Tom's the chef in this household. Um, but yeah, to replace the salt uh, little pinch pot that we've got on the island, I know that looks quite big for a salt pinch pot, but we go through it. And yeah, just sat on the middle of the island just there to just, yeah, do you see the vision? Oh, I feel like this, yeah, this is a matching um, larger sized bunny to go with the one I showed you earlier. That's the size difference of these two. Oh, how cute are they? Definitely keeping these two together, side by side. And then last but certainly not least, we have, yet again, I feel like this might be yeah, a bigger size version of the um, little lidded bunny jar that I showed you. So again, side by side, these could look really cute, like on a console table. You could keep keys in one, little lip balm in the other, just so that you've always got, well, I don't know if, about you guys, but I always like to have some kind of lip balm somewhere in every room or mints, packet of mints or something. Cute little storage pot. Thank you so much to the girls at Fall and More. You've absolutely spoiled me. I love everything. Don't forget, guys, to check them out if you wanted to shop small and have a look at what they have. As the name suggests, Fall and More, they do lots of gorgeous, like, seasonal shopping bits. So, yeah, that is that. Let me pop this over here. And let's get in to the TK Max and HomeSense bits. So, we have quite a few things. So, if your coffee's run out and you want to top up, Pause this video, go grab that and come back. So let's jump into, first thing I'll show, show you. Okay, so again, bearing in mind, lots of these things are kind of like seasonal decor without necessarily being overly Easter, so I can have them out for a lot longer. So I've got a couple of cushions that I picked up. Firstly, this um, plain linen one, which is like a bolster style. So these are good for on any of the sofas, on console table, I like to have a couple of cushions, you can see a couple there. Um, on our beds, we've got a few options to have, yeah, obviously a spare bed, our bed, we've got the chair in my filming room. So yeah, a gorgeous linen cushion. It does have a bit of branding on there, but I'll probably cut that off to be honest with you. 19.99, so it's linen on one side, and then it's more of like a, I want to say it's like a brushed cotton on the other side. And then similar sort of size cushion. This one will probably go on the sofa though. And it again has that little seasonal touch with the bunnies on, which are just so adorable. So again, that kind of, uh, well, this one's more of like a cotton canvas type texture with the soft fuzzy 
bunny rabbit from hip and hop is the brand 19.99 so i managed to find some more wooden photo frames the one that i've got in here which i love with the, my trove prints i couldn't find any more that size but i wanted a set of two to go in our black room under our like wall lights so i found these two obviously matching so i decided to pick them both up they were 12.99 each and what i'm going to do with these two is little tip that some of you guys suggested as well unlike what i've done with that one buy like a nice trove print which are like oil painting prints that are just beautiful but then take out the glass so that it kind of gives a matte effect and you don't get that reflection like that so yeah these take 20 by 25 centimeter prints so i'm going to get looking on trove now and see which ones i'm going to pick up but 12.99 for each frame and yeah, I just love those so much. That kind of dark walnut wood, we've got um, kind of dotted around. And yeah, I just think, I think it's nice. It's like real rustic. I picked up this jar for in our pantry. It was only $6.99 and it's got, again, that kind of like dark wood lid. And I really like the kind of mismatch of having a pantry full of these kind of glass jars with wooden lids, but not each... I feel like you either commit to every single jar being the same, like from the same shop, the same colour and everything, or you have a mismatch because committing to the exact same, like in a year or so, if you want to buy another one to replace one that's smashed, it's like, are they still selling them? Otherwise you're going to have one odd one. So I thought, no, I'm going to commit to a mismatch. And I thought I would switch up the texture with the ribbed glass on this one. I feel like this is a good size for... Um, like a bag of dried pasta. I've actually got a bag in there that I could pop in here. So $6.99 that one is. Love that. I also picked up this pot. They had two sizes of these pots in this size and then a larger size. The larger one was $6.99. This one was only $3.99. And I loved that kind of glazed, but also again, the kind of different textured colors, like older kind of looking pots. And yeah, it's essentially a little garden pot because it has got the drainage you can have outside i will always think these sort of pots even with like a little faux plant or like faux little mini hydrangeas or something some kind of spring something or other set out on the table or even um little like a pot of herbs in here to pop on the kitchen shelf or on the island i just thought this color would look really nice in this room because we have the touches of green throughout here so yeah, for spring, I thought it was a lovely colour, lovely price at just $3.99 as well. I also bought this gift bag. This is for a friend who I'm actually seeing the day this video is going live. So hopefully she won't watch this this morning, but otherwise it's just a gift bag. I'm not ruining the surprise of what I bought her, but um, £2.29 this one is. And they've got loads of these kind of prints and everything for spring. And I just think obviously lovely for spring, but even just for like a a birthday gift bag or for in this case like a baby shower type gift christening mother's day yeah easter whatever it may be i thought they their selection that they had were just beautiful so i did get a mother's day card as well but i won't show you that just because mum i know you'll be watching for somewhere else i'm not sure where yet maybe even within the shelving either in this room or the other one i also picked up another walnut wood uh photo frame and this one was 7.99 it takes five by seven inch photos so again i think what i might do is remove the glass pop either um, a photo in or again another trove print i just love them so much i do have one frame in there that's a very orangey wood that i'm a bit like oh, i don't love it when i go in so i might even switch out and donate that one now that i'm getting these walnut wood tones in um yeah that one's already got a print in it so that could just go straight in there picked up a couple of books love finding a new book purchase in home sense i feel like they've got some real good ones so always check out the book section if you want some like coffee table books aesthetic books cooking books so this one is a cooking book it's called a menu from venue corey lee by corey lee it was only 9.99 Ooh, pine mushrooms baked in a rice bran with green apple. That sounds nice. These sound quite difficult. Spring porridge with sea urchin. So yeah, not sure if we'll be 
using many of these recipes but as the aesthetics go i thought this is a lovely book to have and it's actually got so it's a linen cover but it's actually got a um kind of like texture can you see it's like a bow bun uh, and it's actually textured like it, it's raised nice linen book would look lovely in the bookshelf so it's not obviously a cooking book either then i also got this one which was only 5.99 and it's called a centered life aromatherapy reimagined again it had a lovely neutral spine that just says a centered life and again could look lovely styled up on one of my bookshelves and then i bought this two pack of kitchen towels you might be looking at it thinking whoa color I don't really like that one. So that's probably going to be a cleaning cloth or a donation. This one I absolutely loved. And it's just a black and white kind of illustration of little bunnies. And again, for Easter Easter, like when we're actually the week of Easter, I feel like this would look lovely out on my, um, on the oven. I could totally have bunnies. I don't know what Barney would think of a bunny though. <laughs> would they be friends or enemies? Not quite sure okay then i picked up two plates these were both from laura ashley originally and again for a little seasonal uh crockery i thought these were beautiful obviously you could use these all year round but for me personally i'm thinking spring and into summer as well they are they well they actually had them plain as well with just the line edging but then these ones with the pattern i just thought again for seasonal decor for um like i don't know spring baking summer baking as well these ones N nice lemon lemon drizzle on the island you've got a friend over for coffee and cake we can have the nice spring plates from laura ashley so yeah i did pick up two for that reason these were 4.99 each okay sticking with the neutral easter decor i bought this wreath i saw a few of these actually so if you like it i'm sure your home since or tk maxx will have them but well they had loads of wreaths but this one in particular i saw a few of so it's a real kind of dried earthy toned sage uh, wreath with these little eggs it's also got a couple of these little birds as well uh, I don't know how I feel about the birds. Are they cute? Or do we remove? There's only two of them. But I thought that on the island with a nice little candle plate and pillar candle in the middle, even if just for decor, not for lighting, would look lovely. Rain is coming. Wow, I've timed that well being out this morning. Uh, but yeah, how gorgeous. This one was $8.99. Also in the book section, I saw the stationery section, loads of linen notebooks different varieties styles sizes this one was my favorite one and they had actually quite a few from this brand modish um i think it is so 4.99 this one was and this one just says little book of notes on the front and it's like embossed in there on a linen cover so really really pretty simple styling as well could be really nice but otherwise it's just a pretty standard lined notebook so i'm actually thinking of having this out somewhere maybe on this console so it's easy to reach so if ever you're like on the phone or whatever you need pen and paper to just jot something down you've got this to hand little notebook how gorgeous is this not that i need any more cake stands okay i have a white ceramic one and i have a mango dark wood one i now have this one this one was 12 99 as are most of their cake stands. They also had them bigger than this, but I thought this size would be perfect for, again, little Easter bakes with the little beading on the edge, the rustic kind of wood. I just thought this was beautiful. So yeah, I decided to pick just the one up, the smaller one, like mini cupcakes, biscuits, a little cake, just to have it on the island with our cute little plates to enjoy a slice of whatever is on here. I couldn't not pick that up okay this as well i was really surprised to see this there was two of them two or three of them it just seemed so randomly placed as well but i was like how beautiful is this this is something that i imagine you'd find in like a little antiques shop or zara home again uh does it say where it's originally from artway again with the old rustic you can kind of see the vibe of what i like here so it's textured as well mish like hammered kind of textured uh, different coloured, like distressed looking little jug. Probably more so for styling, but even if you just had like a single stem in something like this, I just 
couldn't resist. It was only 5 99 as well. Oh yes, I forgot about this. They had quite a few of these actually and they had packs of three as well, three larger ones. No, three smaller ones, sorry. So this was one of the larger one, single ones at 4 99 and it's basically, let me remove that up a bit. It's basically a ceramic or stone, I should say, egg with this little jute ribbon and a little sprig of dried flowers styled up on the shelf somewhere on top of a book throughout Easter. Even could use something like this rather than as a cake stand as a little decorative board. Pop a little candle on there as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. These were $4.99. I remember the pack of three smaller ones were $9.99. And then is this last but not least? I think it is. It's actually a dog bowl, Barney. So I, I bought this because I have um, a current, my current one, which is like a wooden elevated bowl, which I prefer, <sighs> apparently it's be better for, especially like him, longer-legged dogs to have it slightly elevated just for ease for them eating so i bought this now unfortunately they only had just the one again in that dark walnut wood so i keep his bowls in the pantry through there and yeah the wooden one that i've got because it's like a double wooden one the wood in the middle just seems to get like loads of like water bits of his food on i just feel like it's really unhygienic no matter how much i scrub it it's like stained and i just feel like that surely is harboring loads of bacteria. So I wanted ideally just like an all metal one. Couldn't see one though, but saw this and as you can tell from above, there's not really much wood on show. It literally just the dog bowl just sits inside this little cylinder of wood. So it is raised for them. So I think what I'll do is I'll have this one as his food bowl and then just all, all water bowl and then just switch it out when he eats or just have the water bowl on the floor. Uh, but yeah, this one was a $14.99. If they'd have had a second, I would have bought it so that he has two elevated, but I can keep my eyes peeled for, for another one. But yeah, I've not seen any others like that that is wooden, but without the top part able to get manking gross. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up. I feel like I'm actually going to close off the vlog here today. And like I said, I'm picking my camera back up again tomorrow and my new one um, to do a bit of a more out and about type vlog. Maybe even some homeware shopping and fashion shopping in M&S because I've been seeing online they've got so many gorgeous new bits in that I've got my eyes on. So maybe we could go in store, have a bit of a mooch and do that tomorrow. But yeah, stay tuned for that for my next video. In the meantime, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for spending these last few moments with me. It means the world and yeah, thank you. Just, just feeling grateful for each and every one of you. So thank you so, so much. Sending you all my love and I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.